finally. There's your own. Hey guys, Jameson Renning here with the Road Trip Angler. And today I want to share five knots that I think every angler should know. Number one, the improved clinch knot. I tie the improved clinch knot on a lot of lures that already have swivels or split rings on them. So when I'm tying my line, my fluorocarbon specifically, or my monofilament to something like a crankbait, a chatterbait, or any kind of swim bait that already has a split ring on it, I'm gonna use the improved clinch knot. This is gonna be anything up to around that 25 pound test fluorocarbon or monofilament line. Number two, the non-slip loop knot. For the non-slip loop, this is a knot that is my go-to when I'm tying fluorocarbon or monofilament line directly to a bare hook or a hook that I'm going to connect to a, a soft plastic bait like a wide gap on say a, a soft plastic worm, I'm gonna be Texas rigging, or it's something that I'm going to use when I hook to a jig head. And that's gonna just allow for more action in the lure and in the bait. The bait does not have a split ring, it does not have a swivel. I wanna create that loop connection so that the bait can swim. It's also a knot that I use almost exclusively when I'm fly fishing, to tie that fly to that leader material. Number three is the Palomar knot. The Palomar knot is a knot that will work just about with any type of line. And it's probably one of the most common and easy to tie knots and very, very strong when tied properly. But for me personally, this is my go-to knot when I'm tying braid directly to a lure, which I only really do when I'm tying to something that's gonna be a moving bait that I'm fishing pretty fast through the water where I know the fish are being very aggressive and I'm not too worried about them seeing my line like, needing to use that fluorocarbon leader that's going to help prevent them from seeing it. So I would use this in a situation like when I'm tying directly to say a chatterbait or a spinnerbait or even some hard body swim baits that I'm going to be moving through the water column pretty quick. Right. Moving into a couple of knots that will help you connect line to line. Number four is the uni to uni knot. The uni to uni knot or double uni knot is a knot that I tie probably more than any other knot as far as when connecting two different lines together. I fish a lot of braid in that 20 to 30 pound range. I usually always put a leader on, a fluorocarbon leader somewhere in that say 10 to 20, 25 pound range. This is the knot I'm gonna to use to connect those two lines together. It's really easy to tie and I believe it's pretty close to 100% break strength. So I have a lot of confidence in that knot and essentially I'm tying a uni knot on both sides. I would say to make sure that you increase the wraps on the braided side to somewhere around seven to eight wraps and on the monofilament or fluorocarbon side you can get away with around five. There are very few times that I don't use a leader and tie directly to the braided line. And I just, over the years, I have seen a leader make a difference. And so now in my head, I have a lot of confidence in using a leader. It does sometimes throw people to have that extra connection in their line and they worry about that's another fail point. But I tie the double uni and I've got a lot of confidence in that, line, or in that knot when tied properly. So I use that knot a lot because almost everything I throw is gonna be from braided line to some type of fluorocarbon leader. And last but certainly not least, number five, the Alberto or Crazy Alberto knot. The Alberto knot is another knot that works really well when connecting two different size or types of line together. So braid again to that fluorocarbon or monofilament leader. However, I have a lot more confidence in the uni to uni in that smaller line class. So again, I'm mostly for I would say 80 to 90% of the things that I do. And then in that 20 to 30 pound braided line class and somewhere in that 10 to 20, 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. But occasionally when I'm offshore and I am using heavier lines or if I'm musky fishing, which I don't catch musky, we all know that. Or if I'm just needing that extra heavy braided line and I'm using bigger bite leaders or bigger leaders in general, I will switch over to the Alberto now 
because it's going to be very narrow and I can put a much longer leader on, I can reel that knot through the guides and it is a very good knot for connecting lines that are very drastically different in size or in diameter. So when I'm connecting that 50 pound, say, plus braided line to somewhere between 40 and up uh, fluorocarbon leader or monofilament, the Alberto is my go-to knot. In fact, I use the Alberto knot while offshore fishing for big yellowfin tuna. I can catch fish too. That is a stud. To see how to tie all these knots, be sure to check the links in the description and check out our channel at the Road Trip Angler.